third unit we will enter third unit we entered so this is arches why we need to study arches what is the advantage of arches if it is a span straight straight or linear it's a linear na it's a linear something we assume like this this is a linear span if it is provide arch span if it is provide arch what is the difference between 1 and 2 so same loading is there loading is there loading is there some random loading okay so it is loading so is there any difference is there any difference between 1 and 2 so manak advantage we have an advantage or not disadvantage advantage or disadvantage so why we need to study arches arches are ancient so ancient structures lanta arches use chesevallu they used more on arches why what is the importance of arches so if you see previous or advanced or any or any advanced structure see everything is arch understood this arch they didn't provide any, any linear span they provide a linear arch are you understood this is arch so many bridges they provide arches see why if you provide a linear linear span what is the disadvantage or otherwise if you provide arch what is the advantage one thing you can easily observe that if you provide arch we can increase the span length if we can increase the span length for a linear arch for a linear span we can provide certain limit only how what is that limit what is why it is the limit you can learn in a so rcc chapter but i will give a small suggestion see if a linear arch is provided linear linear span is provided straight span is provided so the moments are arising based on that moments we have to design the cross section of that span okay but if you provide arch span if you provide arch span the moments are decreasing same loading same loading moments are decreasing moments are decreasing then we can provide small cross section so serviceability criteria if you provide a small cross section the self weight is decreasing are understood if you provide a small cross section the self weights are decreasing again moments are decreasing then we can increase the span length because the serviceability criteria is reflected if you provide a small cross section small load small vertical loads the deflections are very low deflections are very low are understood deflections are very low then we can increase the span lengths so why it is the service product serviceability criteria is a, what is that you can learn in rcc next year so we already know how to calculate the deflections okay we know it okay so self weight so design a cross section these are all this you can learn in rcc but i will give just introduction if you provide a arch span we can increase the span length okay that's it see so many arches so many arch structures are understood how the load is applied how the load is applied and they provide arches arches everywhere arches okay see not only this see this this is also arch are understood why just they left out only straight straight span they provide arch they provide arch are understood they provide arch see this they provide arch see so these are the culverts these are the culverts na culverts they provide arch small bridges culverts anything arch arch okay so if you see ancient structures also mostly lintel see these are the ancient ancient or so way back previous they provided arches i understood arch arch everywhere is arch 
everywhere is arch see these are also arches arch 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 so if you see this is a, this is another if you just imagine your lintel beams this is called lintel beams huh? your door openings just see the door openings at the end at the at the doors at the doors they provide arches but nowadays they just provide just a very linear but previously if you see the ancient mansion houses of kings they provided like arches are understood they provided like arches at the entrance of doors that is also a beam so nowadays just see if your door closes at the time at the at your opening of the door at the top of your door they provided a beam that is a mostly art linear linear beam but previous not a previous means ancient or way back so previous generations they provide arches okay see these are the openings okay. why it is all <coughs> arches are understood arch arch see these are the openings doors na these are the arches what is the importance of arch why i said so the bending moments are decreasing compared with the, the bending moments are com decreasing throughout the span comparing the straight or linear span how it is sir how it is we will see today we will see it is okay see what are the what are the elements in the arch what are the elements in the arch we will see otherwise some picture is there so these are all arch structures these are all arch structures okay so okay you know it and you came across so many structures like this okay now we will see bending moments are decreasing first question is bending moments are decreasing sir how sir that is why we have to learn it okay bending moments are decreasing bending moments are decreasing cross section should be maybe we can provide it cross section we can provide it so less so automatically dead load will dead load will less if dead load is less dead load is lessing moments dl serviceability criteria is better than linear okay dead loads are decreasing so if dead loads are decreasing again moments are decreasing so so how it is we'll see it and what is arch so see it is arch is like so this is arch you can it's so in this what are the different types of arches are there see it is okay different types of arches are there mm -hmm. see if you provide something like hinge joint so we have to provide a hinge or roller if you provide a roller here if you provide a roller here if you just apply a load what will go it will go like it will go like no? so it it moving if you provide a roller if you provide a roller how it work it is moving so if it is moving the structure is stable no so in a in a arches we have to provide hinge joint hinge supports both ends not one end not one ends so if you see just it will go on if it is something if it is something like linear linear span if you provide a loading vertical loading no problem at all no problem at all it's not moving it is moving when very small temperature loads are there very very small moments are there small moments are there no problem at all the static equilibrium of the structure but if it is arch if it is arch if you provide a hinge if you provide a roller just if you apply a load it will move on i understood it's move on because load is applied like this the moments are arising let's just go on so we can't apply like this i understood so compulsory we have to provide compulsory we have to provide we have to provide hinge joints both hinge joints not a roller joints are understood are understood okay that's it so see it is if it is a roller joint if it is a roller joint so we have 
we have different types first type is three hinged arch three hinged arch three hinged arch means this is a one hinge see it is this is a one hinge this is second hinge and third hinge provided this sir why it is three hinged arch see it is see it is uh, if it is only provided two two span two hinges so what are the reactions are developed what are the reactions developed what are the reactions developed something is random load is applied what are the reactions developed see vertical reactions v1 v2 is developed and also see previously it is a roller that is moving on then there is no horizontal reactions but if you provide both sides hinges both side hinges if you applied a vertical load compulsory horizontal forces also horizontal reactions also developed na? it's compulsory developed see just observe it if you provide a loading automatically automatically compulsory this if it is not provided what will happen if it is not provided what will happen if it is there if you provide a vertical loading what will happen it will go like this na? just imagine just if it is there and you applied some loading without the reactions without the supports what will go it will go like this it will go like this then if you want to structure is stable if you want to structure is stable so compulsory support is there it will restrict the horizontal movement it is restrict the horizontal movement then compulsory then compulsory reaction is developed Are understood compulsory reaction is developed so that's it so horizontal reactions are also developed h1 H2. So much nice. Our, uh, can they eat Sirish and Chapanapa? The breath and eyes of Sne. Enyas Nava Sirisha. You are a canopist in the day. I put it in the middle. Nice, I pray. Thank you. It's okay. So, compulsory horizontal reactions are there. See how many external reactions are there. This is two. This is two. Four reactions are there. We have only three equations m equal to 0 moment not a bending moment fx equal to 0 fy equal to 0 we reaction sound of the game of the god over this sound Second is the third is the Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Our Amma. Chaitanya. Siri. Chapana Monkey. Otherwise, you don't know. Third is the Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Siri. Shana. Peru. Peru. Message. 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 Chapandi, this is too much. Chatta sound loss. Okay, see it. So we have four reactions. Understood? We have four reactions, but only we have three equations are there. So we can't solve, we can't find out the we can't find out the four unknowns. So what will happen? We need extra reaction. We need extra equation. So what is that equation? So for that purpose, for that purpose, again we have to provide a hinge here. Hinge here. So hinge here, this means at this location, maybe if it is location of C, MC is zero, moment is zero, bending moment is zero. So if you provide another hinge here, another hinge here, so automatically we get one extra equation. What is that extra equation? The moment at here, the bending moment at here is zero. So that's why three moment, three hinged arch is very easy to evaluate. Very easy to evaluate. Are understood? This is a one hinge, this is a second hinge, and this is a third hinge. 
So if you three hinge arches directly determine structure. I understood three hinge arches determine structures, but two hinge two hinge arch. So same thing. Second is second is two hinge arch. Two hinge arches. Two hinge arches. Two hinge arches. This is a two hinge arch. Something random load. It is. It is a indeterminate structure. Indeterminate structure. Are understood? Indeterminate structure. We can't. We can't determine these reactions by use, by applying only moment is zero, f x is zero, f y equal to zero. These are the three available equations. We can't solve it. We will discuss later. Okay. But three hinge arches. It is a determinate structure. When you provide extra arch, extra 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 hinge at there. Okay, so that's it. The story of three hinge doors and two hinge doors, and later third type is fixed doors. Fixed doors means fixed doors means if you provide a fixed support set here, if you provide a fixed support, another another one moment is also coming, na? Another one moment is also coming. So three three six six minus three three six minus three three. So three is the indeterminacy indeterminacy so we can't solve it we can't solve it most probably no one uses okay most probably no one uses okay leave it okay these are the three different types there is a fixed arch in the syllabus we have three hinge arch and two hinge arch three hinge arch and two hinge arch so what is this point sir what is this point where we provide as some hinge this point is called a crown. This point is called a crown. Crown is top. Okay, down. And this is called span. This is called a span. Span. Okay. So not this is span. This span is this. Sorry. Okay. You can call it span is same. Span is same. This is span. What is this? These are the hinge supports. Okay, but in reality, in reality, where it is, where the where there was located, in reality, see this, any structure is taken, any structure is taken. In reality, where these supports are there, where these supports are there, at the ground, at the ground, na? at the ground, most probably it has, see it is, it has something, it has supports. Those the reaction supports are. If you see, uh, if you see, these are C. They are inside of the ground, inside of the ground. Okay, most probably these called abutments, abutments. Most probably it's abutments. Okay, abutments. So end abutments in a real structures. In if you take in any culverts, any dam structures, they are called as abutments. Okay. Okay, these are the supports. These are the hinge supports only. General language, okay. But in reality, there's abutments. Okay, these are the first, second abutment. This is the first abutments. Okay, this is the crown. So, and if you take in, if you take in, what is this height? This height is called H. This is rise. Rise. How much rise from the, from the ground? From the ground, how much rise? It is a rise. Okay, this is a crown. These are the abutments. This is a rise. Okay, are understood? That's it. What is the difference between three hinge doors and two hinge doors and fixed doors? Okay, are understood? Then, then if you see, if you see, so now you will see. We will take it. You will take a three hinge door. You three hinge door. Three hinge. This is also hinge. Okay, this is also hinge. See, if any load is there, if any load is there, W, something, not only point load, any random load, take any random load. So reactions are there. W by two, W by two, and H. Horizontal reaction also develop. I understood horizontal reaction also develop. What is how much, sir? We will calculate later. I will just. If you see, if any section if you take any section any take any section what is the bending moment at here 
bending moment at some x is equal to some x. What is the bending moment here? What is the bending moment here? So bending moment is same w2 into x w2 into x minus h into y. Are understood? So w2 it will come like this direction. H will come this direction. H multiply with y. Are understood? So for the same if you take in some small uniform linear if you take a linear span so w is there it's a w by 2 it's w by 2 what is that bending moment at this location w by 2 into x are understood so i understand understand the difference between linear and uh, arch the bending moment is decreasing decreasing are understood decreasing with decreasing are understood so decreasing by y by developing by developing horizontal reactions are understood horizontal reactions by the developing of the horizontal reactions by the developing of the horizontal reactions the bending moment in the span is decreasing are understood so if you want if you want if you if you want to construct a very small size then you have to provide a linear arch type because if you see bending moment is decreasing bending moment is decreasing so to counteract that bending moment we have to provide a cross section the cross section is also compulsory not a compulsory it has a minimum cross section not a minimum it's less cross section compared with the linear linear structure no? so that's why if the bend if provide arch automatically it has a lesser moments compared with the linear span are understood so that is my point that is my point see observe it so throughout the cross section throughout the span throughout the span moments are decreasing moments are decreasing compared with the linear span what does the moment what is the h we will calculate it later we will calculate it later we can calculate it directly now now and what's no problem at all but we will calculate it later okay so that's this that's it and also and also the next topic last topic first we will see the three hinged arches three hinged arches in three hinged arches also we have two types two types what are those two types if you provide if you provide that arch that is arch arch is in a parabolic shape if you provide arch is in a parabolic shape that is this is a hinge this is a parabolic arch parabolic arch so it is a parabolic arch okay are understood so this is a parabolic arch if you provide that shape shape of that arch is parabolic there is a parabolic arch if you provide or the shape of the arch is circular that is a circular arch those are the two different those are the two different sir what is the advantage of parabolic and circular we will discuss later okay so in three hinged arches also two different types are there one is a parabolic arch second is a circular arch and also in circular arch segmental arch also there segmental arch we will discuss later but see parabolic arch is there what is this shape is parabolic shape is parabolic na? shape is parabolic and the height is h so what is the equation if you see if it is x what is y it is a fixed parabolic shape we already know what is parabolic if it is x what is y if you know something this total length is something 10 meters total length is 10 meters it's a 5 meters rise is something like a 5 meters also they are fixed some like so if it is 1 meter what is y value how can you find it how can you find it you know, para, you know what is a parabolic, what is a <coughs> ellipse, what is circular, those are all properties you studied in a PUC, I think. How can you find out what is x and y values? If you know x, what is y value? So, y is equal to the 4h by l square x into l minus x. This is a parabolic property. This is total l. Otherwise, l. This is l. You can calculate it y like this. Sir, what is this? This is a parabolic. What is a parabolic property? I already know y. y is equal to 4ax square 
आर एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर ए वाई स्क्वायर दिस आर द पैराबोलिक शेप ना पैराबोलिक प्रॉपर्टीज ना आई वॉन्ट डिस्कस इन मैथमेटिक्स टूडे ओके बट आई यू नो सो वाट इज दट एक्स स्क्वायर बाई वाई इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट और वाई स्क्वायर बाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट दो हजार पैराबोलिक्स ना यू ऑलरेडी नो वाट इज द पैराबोलिक्स This is a parabolic. This is a parabolic. This is a parabolic. These are the parabolics, na? So something a is distance, and you know it, x square by y. So if you take it like this, this x square by y is a constant. X square by y is a constant in this shape. So I already said in a, so in a bending moment diagrams, in a bending moment diagrams, if something you don't know, if it is a uniformly distributed load, the bending moment diagram is parabolic. W L square by eight parabolic. This is the shape of parabolic. You can easily calculate it. What is the bending moment at some place by using x square by y is a constant. So if it is a five, it is a five. So the value you know it. If you know the value, you can easily calculate it everywhere using the parabolic equation. That is a parabolic shape. So now, huh? so same thing. So if you see it is just see it is x square by y is a constant. I said that. So if you see taken. x equal to zero, so this is l by two, na. This is l by two. This is h. X square by y is same. So l square, x square is l square by four. At c, at the c the crown point. C the crown point. C the crown point. L square by four divided by h is constant. Are understood? L square by four h is constant. See this. This is l square by h four h. Are understood? Reverse l square by 4h is a constant. L square by 4h is a constant. So that is the constant. This is the constant we used it. So if you the you can use this formula throughout the span from this to up to this up to this up to end point. But if you want just a very small if x y very small only if you take a very small off section, you can easily using by this. By equation, x square by y is a constant. So this is you know it. So that's it, like this. You know this value h, and you know this value. These are the constant. Same. This y, this x is constant everywhere. X square by y is a constant. So compare with those two, you can easily find out the what is value of y. What is the value of y? Otherwise, if you don't know. If you don't compare with those, you already know it, na. This bit is a taken a straight line. You know it. Similar triangles. This divided by this value, this divided by this value is same. Similar triangles. Same. It is not a triangle, but it is a parabolic. Same. You can x square by y. X square by y is constant. Squaring. That is a parabolic. We can easily calculate the y value. Okay, by this parabolic equation. Otherwise, using this way is also same thing. No change. Both are same. Both are same. Don't confuse it. Both are same. These are the parabolic properties. Okay, parabolic properties. So we will use later. Later, if you some random load is applied, how can we calculate the bending moment, shear forces, everything? We will see it. Okay, that's thing. So next, this is a parabolic. This is a parabolic situation. If any random loads are applying, random loading is applying. So we have to find out y and x something. That's why we I now explain what is a parabolic property. What is a parabolic? Okay. So next is arch. Arch is circular arch. Circular arch. So what is circular arch? So what is circular arch? So this is a circular arch, na? So this is circular. <coughs> this is circular arch. Something random load is there. I don't know where it is. Okay, you can apply. This is circular arch. Circular arch means what? We know it. We know it. This is R. This is R. This is R. And you can, you can. This is if it is theta. If it is theta. You know, you know this height. You know this height, and you know this value. Not a R, not R. If you have given 
some 30 degrees or 20 degrees you can easily can find out this y value you can easily find out this y value and also you can easily find out x value x value is r minus this value r cos theta okay. if it is r this is r cos theta this is r sin theta so what is x x is r minus r cos theta we already know y is r sin theta like this you can easily calculate x and y at everywhere with respect to angle are understood so with respect to angle you easily calculated what is x what is y so later we can find out the moment spending moments of every section okay x and y and y so this is a circular arch but in circular arch also we have a segment arch also there segment arch sir what is a segment arch segment arch means they won't provide a total of circle they provide only some part some part means only they provide like some part some part some part means if you see it is see if it is a full circle so they only taken very small part they only taken very small arch that's it's not half circle are understood it's not half circle if not half circle right this is an half circle okay these are the half circles these are the half circles but they won't provide a full half circle they provide only some part some part means only provide like this part if it is only provide the spot so only provide the spot that part so this has support this has support if you provide like this only segment large only some segment of arch it is also provided so how can you find out so this value this value this is total r so some section is there if you some some load is there see only you just observe it only only this uh, only you just observe this part only that is a segment large okay so okay that's only segment large how can you find out this y this x how can you find out so this is a y so like this so this is a theta this is theta you can easily find out this total is r cos theta so in r cos theta if it what is the segment segment height is some h if it is segment height is h r cos theta minus r minus h r minus h it will give this value minus of r cos theta those are things by those things you can find out this height and also you can this h height h height also you can find out this you can you can find this is a r sin theta if you provide theta top no need of. just i will give idea how can you find out this is r sin theta so r sin theta so, so you can easily find out remaining quantities based on it but i uh, one thing one thing you have to understand the circle property one thing you have to understand the circular property is see if it is r total r this is r this is r this is r if any segment is there if any segment if see circular property circular property you miss it if it is circular it is a circle this is a segment a a dash and b is a segment one property is there see this is of maybe l if it is of some half of compulsory if it is r r so it is it is what if it is h some segment height is h remaining is 2r minus h na? total length is what 2r so it is a diameter na? it is a diameter it's a 2r minus h if you know if you are remember the circular property see it is l into l is equal to the 2r minus h into h this is a circular property i think you remembered or search it 
if any segment if a something segment is there something segment is there somewhere here here also it is l dash it is l dash maybe if it is a sum this is a x what will happen same l1 multiply with l1 these two multiplication will give these two multiplication is equal to the x into 2 or minus x understood this property is fixed per circular property based on that you can easily find out this span length span linear length span linear length based on the h value based on the diameter you can find out the span lengths also this is also circular property segmental property these are all mathematics no not related okay i just giving what are the equations we are going to use in the next two three classes i just elaborated it okay this is the segment large these are the segment large you can easily find out how what are the x y values how can you find out we will see later so okay this is a circular also how can you find out x and y and what is the property of the circle okay so this is a this is a parabolic arch how can you find out is this this okay these are the things so now the first theorem first day not first point is we have only syllabus of three hinged arches and two hinged arches only and also segmental arch and parabolic arch and circular also we have to discuss it so we will discuss one 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 so first theorem first proof not a proof first equation first problem i will solve it just see it is so i will see it is so i will take it a parabolic arch i will took it as parabolic arch a uniformly distributed load is there something w per meter okay uniformly distributed load is there so some height is rise of rise of h this is l by 2 this is l by 2 okay so three hinge arch means we have to provide this also hinge 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 na? so i will give a small first very small problem very small problem you will understand you will understand you will understand good okay see see what are the reactions vertical reactions we don't know the h h so you can easily conclude that both side h is same because it's a vertical load is applied symmetrically so automatically you can easily conclude that h is equal to the h1 so maybe if it is h a h a is equal to h b so both are h you know it very simple if it is not a symmetrical hs are different okay so what is v1 and what is v v a and what is vp it is also we can easily conclude because it's a symmetrical vertical load so automatically total load is what w l total load is what w l so automatically this is w l by 2 this is w l by 2 you know it but what is h what is h okay so how can you calculate h see what is a this is a this is small h this is a rise okay what is a horizontal force that's it na? you can easily calculate it see this is a this is b i say it is a c it's a three hinged arch hinge c at c also at c also a hinge is there are understood this is a three hinged arch so observe it mc not mc bmc <coughs> bending moment at c is also zero na? so because it has a three hinge doors a hinge is there at c at crown point at crown point also there so okay so at bmc bending moment c is also there c equal to zero so calculate bending moment bending moment take left side or right side take left side or right side just see it see it is w l by 2 multiply with l by 2 understood w l by 2 multiply with l by 2 bending moment and also see it is h h we know it is h a is equal to h b h multiply with h and then h multiply with h na? so see it is so vertical distance that is a perpendicular distance perpendicular distance compared with force any moment see it is any moment we take as this moment so we have to take a perpendicular distance not an exactly perpendicular distance okay so h into h and also 
vertical gravitational load also there gravitational load by this self weight by the weight by the application of load what is that load weight this is wl by 2 of na so where it is acting it is acting at center it is acting at center center means l by 4 l by 4 that's it na? it will acting like this direction this direction na? so that direction means this direction means same wl by 2 multiply with l by 4 is equal to the mc bending moment at c but bending moment at c is equal to zero because we provided hinge at here we provided hinge at here so if you see what is h value what is the h value wl square by 4 minus wl square by 8 is equal to the hs so what is that value wl square by 8 i don't know h into h so what is h wl square by 8h that is excellent value so the horizontal reaction is wl square by 8h that horizontal square wl square by 8h i understood wl square by 8h horizontal reaction okay so not i <coughs> i won't conclude it i will conclude it later see so if you see if you see so we calculated reactions vertical reactions and also horizontal reactions also so later we can write down the later we can write down the bending moment equation so bending moment at somewhere some section some section some section some x distance so some y bending moment at somewhere okay we will calculate it bending moment at c is zero at a is also zero because zero so somewhere we write it we write an equation so at x at x bending moment bending moment at x some x x section we just take it as x x section see what should w l by 2 w l by 2 multiply with multiply with x are understood w l by 2 multiply with x okay so minus of h into y we don't know why y y and also this small loading okay this small loading it has some okay this is x by 2 so what is that w in multiply with x that is a load and x by 2 is the distance is equal to that bending moment at that location okay at that location see what is a y what is y if it is x y is equal to 4 h by l square into x into l minus x we already know it know it na? know it so if it is x there y it is a parabolic na? it is a parabolic so use it use it w l x by 2 minus w x square by 2 minus h what is y is equal to that bending moment okay bending moment at x see how can we use it <coughs> how can we use it what is h what is h h is wl square by 8h okay so l square l square cancel h is cancelled for 2 zero. w by 2 x l w by 2 x square that's it na? that's it so what is this w x square by 2 minus w l x by 2 is equal to the bending moment at x x see what is the value this value is exactly equal to this value this value is exactly equal to this value what is that value zero zero so what does that mean what does that mean so bending moment is zero everywhere if you take in this x at x x is zero at x x means what this is x x this is also x x this is also x x this is also x x na where it is everything is x x some random so bending moment is zero are understood so that means what this is also bending moment some x take this x zero so bending moment is zero everywhere are you imagine are you imagine see the what 
the bending moment arises due to vertical reactions is exactly compensated by is exactly compensated by bending moment arises from horizontal loading then the total in the total span everywhere bending moment is zero that is a beautiful beautiful line bending moment at every section every section in a parabolic arch parabolic arch for any not any loading for uniformly distributed load for udl applied throughout throughout the span if uniformly distributed load applied throughout the span the bending moment at every section is in a parabolic arch is zero is zero are understood so are understood say c if it is c if it is c if it is a linear arch if it is a linear if it is a linear span so bending moment is bending moment diagram will give bending moment diagram will give like this wl square by 8 so everywhere some of the bending moment is there but if you provide a parabolic arch the bending moment the bending moment arises from vertical vertical reactions is exactly compensated by the bending moment arises from the horizontal forces then then the total bending moment at every section at every section is zero now you can understand why it is the arches are useful why it is arches are useful see the bending moment arises from horizontal loading is oppositely acting oppositely opposite direction acting for vertical reactions so then why that's why the net bending moment at every section is less than the is less than the linear spans are understood is less than the linear spans if the bending moment is less automatically what will happen so to provide to sustain that bending moment we can provide less cross section sections automatically dead loads will reduce so automatically serviceability will increase we can provide a long spans we can provide a long spans are understood so that is the reason we have to study the arches okay now you get a clarity now you get a clarity of why we need to study of arches this is a parabolic arch if you pro three hinged parabolic arch if you provide a uniform distributed load bending moment is everywhere is zero not not zero zero is not for any loading only for uniform distributed loading but remaining loads it has a bending moment but it is compulsory it's less than the linear spans it almost it's less than the linear spans okay but i will give a for you for your information or for your understanding i can took this problem as a first preference because if you just now see you can observe that what is the difference between the linear spans to the arch spans okay so that's why i choose this point this is an excellent point okay so in a three hinged parabolic arch is subject to a load of uniformly distributed load throughout the span then the span does not contain any bending moment at any point throughout the span it is a free of bending moment understood sir what is a shear force diagram what is a what is shear force and diagram so so if you see it is if it see like this na span what is vertical load so just a free body diagram just take in a free body diagram free body diagram some vertical force is there some horizontal force is there some vertical reaction is there vertical reaction is there but if you see vertical reaction so this is a shear force na so this is a v this is also v shear if somewhere something is something w is there this is v minus w free body diagram this is a shear the shear is v minus w otherwise i will remove it you can't understand so, okay there is a shear v there is a shear v okay. shear v but if you observe it in a parabolic arch or circular arch it has it has some the same direction it has some force is divided like this and also horizontal force is also acting na? so it will also act this horizontal force h this is a v this is a h this direction some force is applied and also see and also see um, what will happen 
so for this direction this normal normal direction also one thing else sir what are those components just see just see i will explain for this so in this direction in this direction one thing then absolutely opposite one thing so okay this one thing this one thing this is a horizontal direction this force okay and this is a vertical component of shear what does this different components see this vertical force at shear force shear force and this horizontal force combinedly give reaction the reaction is divided into components so exactly in the direction of the arch in the direction of the arch this is a normal 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 shear it is called a normal shear and exactly for 90 degrees or going to the radial so exactly center na it will going to this called a radial shear radial shear these are the two terms will again extra will appear in this segment so okay this is a vertical is a vertical shear force in some linears but in this arches it is a direction it's divided this vertical force this vertical shear and this horizontal component everywhere it horizontal component arises na if some span is there it vertical reaction is there that means if you cut everywhere it has a horizontal component because it is, should be in equilibrium position free body diagram so everywhere is a free body horizontal contribution is there the vertical shear and horizontal contribution horizontal force this redistributed not a redistribution we can redistributed like in the direction of the arch a normal direction okay so in the direction it is a normal normal to the plane of the torch that is a normal shear so some it is a radial shear those are the terms will come and also one thing we call this is a vertical reaction no? this is a vertical reaction this is a horizontal reaction someone call what is the reaction at support a he doesn't mention vertical there isn't mention horizontal then what we call so exactly this is the reaction clap it it is a vertical force this is a horizontal force this is a vertical force so what is the combined reaction combined reaction is this value are understood so if someone ask what is the reaction at here at the location so what is the r r is v square plus h square na that is the reaction that is the reaction so if you go someone call vertical reaction okay someone call horizontal reaction okay but someone call what is the reaction at support the reaction at support is if this is, and also what is the direction you can easily calculate the direction r cos theta is h r sin theta is v so you can provide what is the theta okay that is r so if you see the reaction is not developed this direction this direction reaction is developed by this direction so the combined total horizontal and vertical the combined will go in some other direction what is the direction it will direction go not only exactly in the arch direction but maybe it's some deviation is there maybe this theta so to to support or to control control the reaction movement we have to provide a ground support most probably i think that's why i said so these are the called apartments because to generate this force so to generate or to counteract this force we can provide apartments here apartments so much of extra we required support is required in a just a linear if it's just a linear or linear support is there just vertical force na vertical force you can just provide as basement that's enough but in this arches it provide it reaction generated like this direction so it may be buckle or it may be fail that's why we provide a strong supports here that's why it is called abutments abutments okay abutments okay later we will discuss these are the, what is a normal shear what is a radial shear how can we divide how we divide the vertical shear normal radial shear later we will decide but i will give what are the quantities or what are the topics in this total chapter these are the chapters okay these are the terms you will experience okay tomorrow we will we will next class we will solve another problems another different different loading another different different loading what is the bending moment diagram so those we will explain it okay so that's it that's the end of the story today that's the arches introduction so if you have any doubts ask me otherwise leave it
if you have any doubts ask me otherwise leave it